guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to do a new pretty pan and this is the roulette pan collab that was started this weekend. Saturday? Yeah, I'm late. I didn't have time to, to film and I was behind and I just needed to make up my mind if I wanted to do this project or not. So if you can hear something on the windows, it's pouring rain and Felix is here because we are apparently getting a fish tank and my boyfriend and his friend is filling it right now. That was his idea. I'm not into fish, he is. He wants to be at least. And it was a great deal and he could not resist and he really wanted some fish. So if you hear something in the background, that is that. But I really need to film some videos. So that is what I am doing right now. This is the Roulette Pan Collab round 7 and I'm really excited to be doing this one because it is a restart of the categories. They had 50 categories prior in the other rounds but now they have 100 categories in a spreadsheet and they got ideas from us viewers. I didn't add one but there are 100 so I think they are fine. I didn't do anything. I actually already chose my categories and my products. I will insert a clip here from my phone when I used random um, my randomizer to choose the categories. So I will have that here while we are talking. The first category I got is number nine and that is a product you bought because of the hype. This might be a very Danish product and it definitely had gotten some new packaging since I got it. It is quite a few years old now. It is the Clover Vaseline. Clover Vaseline. It was very, very popular when I was in boarding school. So that is quite a few years ago now. But I bought it like five years ago, I think. But it's Vaseline. I don't think it is going bad or anything. But yeah. This is how it is looking like. It is this yellow tin and this was very hyped and I wanted to see what the fuss was about. This is my starting point. I have no idea what my goal is for this. I am definitely not going to be successful about using this up. Maybe I am going to use half. Maybe I don't know if I even can do that. Um, a quarter maybe. Maybe I am going to clear out this portion down here. The next category was number 17 and that is a product out of season. Right now it is rainy, it is dark, it is winter season and this nail color is definitely not winter appropriate. It is a salmon peachy color and it is from Neil Shaw. This one right here. I just felt like this color for some reason. I didn't know what makeup to put in or skincare or anything like that. So I just thought this is perfect because I am not doing pretty palettes this year. I was assuming that I wanted to do my nails more often but they need a break and they are actually quite strong if you think about I had fake nails for a few months. I am going to use this one 10 times. Let's say that. I have no idea where I am. I, this is quite full. I have used it like two times, so <laughs> I don't have anything for that. The next category was the really hard one. It is number eight and that is a product you always save for that special occasion or might come in handy. For makeup and skincare, I don't really have that kind of product. Um, and that is a good thing. Trust me, that is a good thing. So the only thing that I couldn't... I could think of that was not clothing because I have special occasion clothing <laughs> that is a glitter because I don't use glitter on a normal basis and forced eyelashes as well but I don't know how to use those up yeah use them a lot and then they break and stuff like that but I thought a glitter was going to be that kind of product for me but at the same time, it's really not because I do sometimes wear glitter to work, but just a little bit underneath my lower lashes right here. Um, and that comes from these liners. And I actually think I'm going to declutter these by the end of the year. I don't think I can finish them, but I really want to use them more. I I don't know what I'm doing. But these are the W7 Metal Flash Metallic Glitter Eyeliners in Glitzy, Iridescent and... Glam Bam. So Glitzy, Glam Bam and Iridescent. I am going to use these 
should we say five times five times each would that be enough yeah 15 times in total yeah five times each for this product and it is going to count as one category because it's it's the next one a product you love the color of but you don't like the formula or you like the formula but don't not the color and so on that was really hard as well <laughs> that was category number 28 oh my god i might regret this but i'm going to put in an eyeshadow eyeshadow and it is going to be a dark one but i just didn't know what to choose i i'm i'm quite good about buying items that i like the color of and knowing the formula and stuff like that but this one might be have been an oopsie and <laughs> um, this is the kigo eyeshadow single in 133 it is a beautiful bronzy not bronzy darker maroon brownie shade i do like this formula but this color i should have gotten something else than this but i thought oh this is going to be a good outer corner shade and stuff like that because i got a champagne shade at the same time i didn't take in, co in consideration that i had a million brown eyeshadows in my co in collection i want to use this a handful of times as well i had this in a round last year as well and i hit my goal on that the kigo imprint thing is very weak here in the middle so maybe that is a goal just to hit pan and see how i'm going to do then we have the fifth category and that is number 11 a product a youtube friend or you another youtuber is panning um <laughs> i don't own a lot of products that other people are panning half of my collection is like w7 and not very many people are panning anything w7 so <laughs> It was really hard and I don't really have anything very very popular um, in my collection but I do have this one and this is something that Stiff from Stiff Lions is panning. I do believe she is doing this project as well as the patterns in cream and stuff like that and she has been trying to get some use or use up the sleek highlighting palette in Saltish and I have the exact, exact same one. I have no idea what my goal is going to be for this because mine is like looking brand new. I have never done I have never used the cream before. I have used the uh, the other ones a handful of times, but there's like nowhere because these are so pigmented and you don't need a lot, but they are extremely beautiful. I am panning a highlighter right now, so I don't know. But it was it was either highlighter blush or blusher. I am working on so many blushes and I'm working on a huge bronzer right now, so that is not an option. So I thought the, the very shallow highlighter that I'm working on right now was a bit an option to work on multiple. So this is the highlighter palette that I'm going to work on. I think I'm going to just like the glitters like five times each. Okay, I am working on a cream and a powder highlighter, but yeah, five times each. <laughs> The next category is a skincare item and that was category 55 and I have my Urkram Nordic Birch Super Moisture Cleansing Lotion thing. This is my day to day cleanser and I am down to here. So a little more than halfway gone. So that is going to be an easy one but that is uh, definitely skincare item that I want to work on. It is a fine cleanser and I use it every single day. That is everything for this video guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it and if you are not already following Alexi and Rebecca you should definitely do. They are linked down below as well as the master list and the playlist for all the other ladies in this collab that has joined and I'm pretty excited to be working on new categories and working from another list. I think it is pretty awesome and these are definitely harder categories but I do think I did pretty well for choosing my products and I think a number goal will be the best one for me <laughs> for these yeah I hope you guys enjoyed and I hope you guys are going to follow along and stick around if you're new here I would love that I hope you guys are doing well until my next video